when I'm developing work and I'm putting it together and I'm thinking about it, it's where I get charged and where I get my energy and it excites me. As an artist, one of the most inspiring things about making work is when your work touches someone. I'm working at Bellevue College and I have a lot of artwork up in the gallery. I'm the resident artist there and a lot of students have been coming through to see the work. It's been mind boggling to me how, how much the young women, the, 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 these students are anywhere from 16 to 25 and how much they identify with my work. I have a neon up in the gallery that says she asked for it. And it's written in beautiful lavender script and it's mounted on rusty tread metal. When I asked the classroom if anybody wanted to talk about any of the work, like three young women all raised their hand and said, we love, she asked for it. And I, I was just kind of shocked because it's a, it's a piece that some people don't understand and they find it problematic um, because they're being very literal about it. And it was so beautiful to see these young women go right past that and really understand it. And then they went into about a 15 minute discussion about all the ways that women are harassed. Through SOLA, Jenny has gifted us the power of community. Knowing that there are other women who have lived and persevered through similar life circumstance is empowering. To know that I share these commonalities, the concerns, challenges, and comforts that I have with artists who I admire and respect validates the time and energy I've put into pursuing my artwork as a professional artist. Supporting SOLA allows women like me to continue their work. It supports us beyond the financial incentives and the recognition, having people believe in you and back you and your work that is incredibly empowering. Everyone who somehow supports the solo community directly supports the empowerment of female artists. <laughs> <laughs>